Hey there, Tuts fans. Derek Jensen coming back to you again with another course, this time coming back into the world of iOS development. Now, you may be saying, well, what's the big deal? We've been talking about Swift. We've been doing a number of things like that. Well, we're going to take a few steps back and we're going to dust off some of the things that we've done previously when it comes to WatchKit or developing for the Apple Watch. Now, you may have been spending some time creating some very cool apps to target the Apple Watch using WatchKit. Maybe you followed along with my previous WatchKit course and you've been starting to work with this and really starting to get the hang of it. And then Apple drops the bomb on us and says, hey, by the way, WatchOS 2 is out. Take advantage of these new cool features. Create these native watch apps. It's really awesome. And I agree, it is. But what do we do with those apps that we have been working on or those demos or proof of concepts that we were working on or heaven forbid those things that we've already released out to the app store? Well, I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with those in this course. We're going to take an existing app that I wrote months ago targeting the original version of WatchKit and WatchOS 1 as we're calling it now and be able to update it and upgrade it and make it available for WatchOS 2 so that the users who have this new version of WatchOS can continue to use your awesome apps. 